Hi, this is Lisa from Punk Creation and welcome back. I have a canvas share for you today. I want to just, I didn't do a process video for this one um, because to be quite honest, I didn't know how it was going to turn out and it was just a case of me trying new things and just going for it. Now this project is probably so far out of my comfort zone I really didn't know which way to go with it. Quite happy with the way it's turned out again it's not my thing but um, I had a go and I really enjoyed it so I'm just going to walk you through very quickly how I did it. So standard A3 canvas uh, centimeter deep um, this image here is a piece of rice paper and I purchased this from the Powertex website. Okay, they have a Victorian collection and there's quite a few different ones. Now let's see if I've got some more. So they've got them smaller like this. You can see that. Aren't they stunning? They're so pretty. I think these come in about two ninety nine each. I think, um, yeah, that's the only Victorian ones I've got left. Um, I adhered that to the canvas with just regular clear PVA glue, okay, and then went over the top with the Powertex transparent, okay. This is just a handy little one that you can use because it's got. A fine tip okay but it does come in the kilo bottles as well I used bits of napkin that I this was a three-ply napkin and I just took it apart and used it with the clear power tech so that it almost so the napkin went see-through I bring it up you can see just here two different types the darker one um, I got from a pen pal in Alabama so I'm not sure where that one comes from but this pretty dusk pink rose came from Dunelm I believe. Corrugated card here just some old lace that I had. This texture here is the texture paste from Powertex. Structure paste. I'll put the link in the description box below. Now, this was a bouquet of flowers that I got at Christmas as a thank you from my boss. Um, so I just, as it was on its way out, I just took it apart and power text it, as you do. Just some regular silk flowers um, that I was given. And I, they were um, hair clips, actually. So I took the back of the hair clip off and soaked them in clear Powertex and you just literally rub the transparent Powertex into the in this case hair clip and then put it where you want it to go okay um, and then I put a dab of transparent Powertex underneath just to hold it in place and then when it dries it dries rock hard okay again bits of the a napkin on this side and then some lace just to frame her there and these were some um, paper flowers that I had just in my stash and these leaves here are from a mold at Powertex um, website um, and then I used just air dry clay to make those uh, Painting it, I haven't really put much paint on it because you don't need to with transparent power text because obviously all the colour comes from the products that you use. However, I have just highlighted the flowers here using, so this one I used my purple cosmic shimmer polish. Okay, just to highlight the purple flower there. I used a silver cosmic shimmer on this one. And then for the pink one, I used some of the silver cosmic shimmer, some of the raspberry distress 
ink from Tim Holtz and then mixed it with a little bit on, on my palette here. You can see what I the vibrancy of the raspberry ink there with the silver shimmer um, and then I've just highlighted some of the some of the, the petals there and then with this one I use the green powder uh, color tricks paint from from Powertex so I hope you like my creation as I said well out of my comfort zone but I'm glad I had a go I'm glad I gave it a go There we go. Now this, I will probably put this in my Etsy shop. Um, so if you're interested in taking a look at my stuff in Etsy, please hop on over there. It's Punk Creation by Punk. I'll pop the link in the description box below. If you liked what you saw today, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon. Keep crafting. Bye.